I've just dropped in to see a mate of mine who's had a new biomass boiler fitted and it runs a firewood drying kiln for his business and it also runs his house so you can see the sort of material there that he puts in it anyway because we were just nattering and uh, not really concentrating some of these clips are a bit odd and a bit short and uh, what have you but maybe you'll just enjoy the slightly obscure way that this has been put together Much. What does this mean here then, John? This this is the water temperature at the minute. Is that 48? 46.9 degrees. There we go, that's 46.9. Right. You can feel it here because the jacket's also on the door. You can get a fair idea of how warm it actually is at the minute. Oh, it's quite warm. So it's quite warm even though it's down at the minute. Yeah. yeah. There's not much smoke coming out, so I'll switch it off there. And we'll switch the fans off. And then we can have a look into it if it's still going. And look at that lovely. We'll soon have that. Look at it. Just watch the smoke on it. It's a bit vicious. So here we go. Ideal for no good for logs, you see. People Birch is see. perfect for logs. Well, I know, but people don't like it. That's a nice and split and all that stuff. Ah, right. So, how long would that last? <coughs> well, I want to get <coughs> steady on, John. I want to get cancer. Yeah. It'll last a bit. And then I'll uh, top it up with a load of that and put one or two of those on top. Is this just chain to chippings and bits of bark? Yeah, it's stuff out of there. Yeah. I'm tempted to put some on now, but let's get it going. Yeah, let's get some heat going. <laughs> Always empty, open the, the stove in a well ventilated area. Yeah, well, I've got a little chap coming to build a shed over it soon. That's what you want. Only oh, like Yorkshire boarding on the side yeah. of it, just down to so far, just to cover the, keep the worst of the weather off it. Oh, too right. It's a sizable investment. It How is. are we doing for the the getting the smoke? There's a little bit, but not a great deal. And the fans are running. Yeah, that's on full speed now. We've got all the pipe work and the control gear and of course that pipe work there runs this timber drying kiln and this pipe work that goes down there goes off to the luxurious residence. <laughs> and that's a 40 foot container. Yeah. For the kiln. We'll have a look inside in a minute. We'll look, we'll see Perfect. A I mean, the secret to get to kiln drying good firewood is not kiln dry it too fast. Well, that's been in there since uh, we put it in last Tuesday. But it's only in, only in these bags. Yeah. It can't be ideal. Let me see where we go. Right, it wants to be in crates, really, doesn't it? In, in an ideal world, but I know other people are doing it in bags. Oh god yes. You can waste a lot of time um, double handling. It is. But um, the fans will cut out automatically to under 80 degrees. I would normally turn it down before then anyway. This is the fan on the on yeah, the boiler. The on this, you can adjust, I, I normally turn it down to about number one or two. And it ticks over for I stock it about half full. About five o'clock at night, it'll go through till the morning. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, that shuts itself down before I get to it usually, but yeah. it's getting easy on us. 
But the main thing is not to dry it too quick or else you just get case hardened firewood. Right, that's what it does. Well, right. you just get it dry on the outside and wet in the middle. It's a bit like trying to see the land. That's right. That's the average temperature it's been today, which is 32 degrees in there, which is quite low. But because it's been it switched itself off because it's not warm enough, that's the temperature in there at the minute. But when this gets going, it's amazing to see the speed that goes back up. Is that that's degree C obviously? Degree C, yeah. Yeah. And there's all sorts of bits and pieces here. There's a time clock there and the thermostat. And that's your meter of how many megawatt hours you've done. <coughs> that's just on the kiln. That's megawatt hours. Yeah. Right. And yeah. Then, and and this has only been installed a few weeks. Uh, fortnight yesterday. Yeah. And it's 9.2. So it's just switched itself on and it's drawing air in to vent. Uh, yeah, to, to, to blow a bit of to blow the hot air through the kiln. Yeah. And that's where the uh, the warm air, warm moist air comes out. So it goes in the front, comes out here. Amazing what you can do with shipping containers. Yeah. Oh, it's warm. Oh yeah, this is where your glasses steam up. Yeah. Wow, it is warm. Old beach. Well, that's lot I lost a lot of weight. That, no, that's a bit heavier. Well, that's not bad. Sailable. I think the thing to do is to split it and then put a moisture probe on the inside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one somewhere. Yeah. All right. Just and you've got gaps between all the bags. Yeah. To get a bit of an airflow round. I think I'll try, I've got a few vented bags, that might be better. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. But the double handling is always a yes. pain in the neck. Yeah, I can't see me. I might see if I can get the vented bags the right size, the ones that get too big at the minute. I'll see if they can manufacture some of the right size and some vents in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this isn't going to get the air through very well. No, it did actually get quite wet on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I mean, you can see that there. some of this timber is splitting on the ends. Yes. But it's also been down a fair while, this stuff. Yeah, it looks like it barks off. Yeah. That, that piece of beach there looks like it's been yeah. laid around for. I think a about, year. Uh, about six months. Six months. Yeah. Nice one. See what it does with the chestnut, that's what's going to be interesting. Sweet chestnuts, brilliant. Yeah, see what it does with the green, see it? Uh, yeah, and probably. there's the inside of the vents. Yeah. Either side. That'll do. <laughs> On the way home, I noticed this, so we stopped and just uh, grab the camera, wobbly camera obviously by handheld, but I just thought it was interesting. <laughs>